Wait, how do you turn gray rocks into pure silver by hand? This is an ancient Chinese silver refining technique. No machines, just mastery. It begins with what looks like ordinary grayish rocks, but they're silver ore. She crushes them by hand into a fine powder, then seeds to remove impurities. Next, she mixes the powdered ore with rice. Yes, rice. The starch in rice helps bind the powder, and they're rolled into small balls. These balls are left to dry completely before the next step. Rushing this process could ruin the structure, so she waits. The sun and wind do their quiet work, pulling out moisture and firming the shape. Then comes the fire. They're heated under intense flame, high enough to trigger a chemical change inside. As the temperature rises, the rice inside begins to burn away, turning to carbon, creating microchannels that help release gases and separate metals. The ore reacts, breaking down, and silver begins to separate from the impurities hidden within. Once removed, the balls break open, revealing hidden silver content. Meanwhile, she melts pure silver and starts adding the separated materials step by step. This process purifies the silver, removing dark residues that float to the top. Then comes the charcoal. She places the silver into what looks like charcoal dust. Why? Charcoal draws out remaining impurities and stabilizes the metal without a direct flame. The final step is water quenching. She cools it slowly, and after hours, silver emerges, bright, clean, and ready for shaping. What you just saw is hundreds of years of traditional metallurgy. No shortcuts, no factories, just patience, precision, and tradition. Like the old masters, she turns earth into treasure, one step at a time. If you're fascinated by ancient craftsmanship, drop a like and follow for more rare techniques like this.